What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, our sins increase to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins increase to bear. Hi, boys and girls. Our theme this year is Hold On to God's Promises. God has so many promises for us, and we find those promises in His Word, the Bible, such as I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. If I have faith as small as a mustard seed, I can move mountains. And you know, as a man thinketh, so he is. So today we are going to fill our minds with positive Bible promises and affirmations because we have a God that loves us very, very much. And we want you to know that. So we are going to start off our program with Kyle with our opening prayer. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the program. Help us to have a good day. Help us to be good. And help us to stop fighting and help us be strong and mighty like you. In Jesus' name pray, amen. Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Roxanne, and it is scripture time. Boys and girls, I am so excited about this year's scripture time because we are going to be learning the promises of God, which is so exciting. Because you know what? God wants us to learn his promises and to use them anytime we need them. We're going to be talking more about that later on. But for now, we're going to be learning our first scripture or promise, scripture promise for the year. And it's going to be found over in Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. King James Version, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to say the scripture and I'm going to put it to a little rhythm. And then, and while I'm doing that, I want you listening. Then once I'm done, I want you to say the scripture with me, okay? Just like I said it. And then we're going to add in hand motions if we have time. So here we go. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. I'm going to say it one more time. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Now, I want you to say it with me. I'm going to do some hand motions. Ready? Let's go. For I know the thoughts that I think for you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. One more time with signs. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Boys and girls, I want you to practice. But more than just that, I want you to also send in video clips of you saying this verse. Or, or this promise, or another promise, in your own cool, creative way. Bye for now. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 
Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Hi boys and girls, Miss T here. I am excited to introduce our new segment, We Kids Got Talent. That's right, we know that you have some amazing talents out there and we're so excited to be able to showcase your talents. If you like to draw, if you like to build Legos, if you like to create things, making things, singing, music, writing, dancing, creative arts, whatever your talents may be, we want to be able to showcase your talents. So create for us a two to three minute video showcasing what your talent is. Make sure that your video is landscaped. Send it to us at our email address on the bottom of this screen and we'll be sure to showcase your talents on We Kids Got Talent. Can't wait to see you there.
Hold on to God's promises. Hebrew 1 verse 3 and 11 verse 3. No matter how a situation looks in life right now, you can stand on the sure promises of God. You have to have faith in God's promises, like how penguin chicks believe in their parents to come back. A typical penguin colony numbers in the hundreds of thousands, but some may exceed one million birds. While half of those are adults, the other half are chicks. And through all of the other baby penguins, the parents usually find them just by listening to the voice. Once the parent penguins reach the babies, the babies get warmth, food, and love. The penguins put their lives in their parents' hands and believe, just like how, when needed, we need to let God take the wheel. Here in the picture, you will see a parent emperor penguin with its young chick shielding it from the snow. Hi, my name is Justin. The Bible is teaching me how to listen the first time. Remember Jonah and the big fish? Joe did not want to listen to God, so God sent the big fish, and then he it swallowed Jonah down. Three days later, it spit Jonah out, and then Jonah decided to listen to God, and that, and then, and and I am learning how to listen to God and my parents, and that's what the Bible is teaching me. Happy birthday! Did you have a birthday in January? If you did, we want to wish you a happy birthday. I hope you had a great day. Hey, superstars. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things to do, and that is journaling. Yay! We're going to talk about journaling, and you guys are going to journal every single day. You're going to write something positive about yourself every single day and i'm sure there are so many positive things about you that you could go on journaling forever and ever and ever also you're going to be so creative with your cover that there's a contest so i want you to put your best effort forward your most creative self to come up with the best most creative interesting cover that is unique okay this is an example to kind of give you an idea. This is a small poster board that I took and I folded the bottom up a little bit and then I folded it over like that. Use some stickers that says, I am amazing. And I put some stars on there, okay? And to that, I just add some paper and I could probably tape it or use a stapler to secure the paper. And I could add the date on each paper and something positive about myself. This is just an example. You also could use a regular composition book and you can take it and just be creative with the cover. Make it unique. This is my composition book, which is my journal. I wasn't very creative. You guys are going to do a lot better than this, right? Okay. But inside, I write something positive every day. Today, I wrote, it is a good day to be a good day. I am full of love and joy. I am going to spread love and joy. I am grateful. And then I wrote a list of things that I'm grateful for. Family, friends, trees, the sun, water, vegetables. You can also have little sticky notes up to remind you of whatever it is that you wrote in your journal so you don't forget. You can have this uh, with you throughout the day or you can put it on bathroom mirror. This one actually happens to be about positivity, which you guys are going to be journaling about. This one is about doing my very best, okay? So you all can use crayons to be creative with. You can actually use pens. You can use pens if you want to. You can use markers. And you can, you can add stickers like I did. You can do that. Okay, so 
like I said, I want you all to put your best foot forward, express all the creativity that you have inside. And I want you to send the picture of your cover. You guys are going to send that to the We Kids email so that you can enter into the contest. And guess what? Yeah, you can enter into the contest every month, every month. That increases your chances of winning. I wish the best of luck to you all. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy man servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Hi, welcome to A Quiet Time with Jesus. I'm Victoria Z, and we're going to study many different ways of having a quiet time with Jesus. I also would like to see a video of your quiet time with Jesus. So please, send them in. There's many different ways that you can do this. You can meditate, you can listen to music, you can study your Bible. You can even have a conversation with Jesus. So there's many different ways. But first, let me ask someone how they have a quiet time with Jesus. You cheated. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I can activate everybody. Oh, oh boy, come here. Come here, fellas. Now, first, let me get you to come here and you to come here. Now, you two arguing. What are you arguing over? You cheated on me. I barely played the game. Okay, first of all, first of all, this is a quiet time with Jesus. So let me show you a way how to handle this. And you can also do this when you're doing a quiet time with Jesus. First, you stop, you slowly count to 10, and you take a deep breath as well. So let's do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then ask Jesus to guide your words, your mouth, in your actions. And then you'll be able to go from there. But spending a quality time with Jesus is always very important. It can help you throughout your day. And I want to thank you for listening to me. And if you, like I said, have a video, please send it in and let us know how we can have a quiet time with Jesus. Choices, choices, choices. My mom's at work, so I could watch TV and get on my iPad, but I cleaned up, I did devotion with my nanny, and I also read a little bit and math. My kids and make good choices. Hey everybody, I am Miss Candace and I am here to tell you about our self-care checkup. Well, what is a self-care checkup? What do you do to take care of yourself? You probably eat well and you get lots of sleep and you get sunshine and fresh air and things like that, but what do we do to take care of our feelings? We're not happy all of the time. Sometimes we're sad or mad or, or angry or scared, and we need to learn what to do when we have those feelings, and that's what our self-care checkup is for. During our self-care checkup, my two helpers, Zach and Zoe, are going to help us learn 12 different things that we can do to take care of our big feelings when they happen. We have lots of emotions, and you know what? 
God made us that way. We are supposed to have lots of emotions, but we also need to know what to do to take care of those emotions because it's our job to take care of our feelings when they happen. So I'm really, really looking forward to all the time that we're going to spend together and all of the new things that we're going to learn. I'll see you soon in our self-care checkup. Do you know what this is? This is salt and this is pepper. By now, I'm pretty sure you know what these two things are. Either you or your parents probably use this to season food. Even though pepper can taste, it looks kind of different from salt. You don't really ever see these two things separate. I've never really seen pepper without salt or salt without pepper. It's kind of like when you're making friends. Even my, even my, me and my friends are like this as well. Even though I may like one thing and my friend may like another thing, we can still have fun together. Even though we're not the same, we can still have fun. It's okay to be different from you and your friends. That's kind of like salt and pepper. Although they don't look the same, they're still really close together. They go really well together and you don't see them without each other. Just like making friends. Black history. Learn it, live it, make it. 365 days a year. History back then. Her name, but Madam C.J. Walker is the embodiment of the American entrepreneurial spirit. Born as Sarah Breedlove in 1867 to freed slaves, she overcame countless challenges to become the first American woman to be a self-made millionaire. Orphaned at seven, married at 14, and widowed at 20, she was a single mother earning just $1.50 a day. She came of age during a time of institutionalized racism and segregation, when blacks had to fight just to survive, let alone thrive. After suffering hair loss, Breedlove developed a tonic she claimed made her hair grow back faster than it had even fallen out. She enlisted her husband, newspaperman Charles Joseph Walker, to advertise directly in black newspapers. Using the name Madam C.J. Walker, she went door to door demonstrating her Walker method of hair care. Soon, Walker employed a fleet of agents who sold her products, harnessing the buying power of the black community. Pioneering a system of multi-level marketing, Walker's agents could earn $15 a day at a time when white workers earned just $11 a week. Opening a factory, building beauty schools and salons, she inspired her employees to become financially independent, despite the enormous societal challenges they faced. Within a few years, the Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Company had become an unprecedented success. In the great tradition of American philanthropy, Walker spread this success across the country by funding countless institutions and causes like anti-lynching campaigns and historic building preservation. And despite her humble beginnings and against all odds, Madam C.J. Walker's hard work and generosity paved the way for American businesswomen for generations. History in the Making Michaela Ulmer might be just 13, but she's all business. These are ginger, these are mint, and these are iced tea. This teen knows how to handle customers with ease. Thank you. What she's Thank selling? You. Lemonade. Um, and all of our flavors are healthy and they're fun and functional. When Michaela was just four years old, she was stung by two bees in the same week, which led to her fascination with bees. Using her great granny Helen's cookbook, she found a way to bring attention to how important bees are to our planet by using a little bit of honey. It was like this old tattered cookbook and there were strings coming out and the covers were falling off. And I was like, what am I gonna do with this cookbook? And then we started flipping through some pages and I found this recipe, so we tried making it and it tasted really good. And that's when I decided, what if I take that flax lemonade, sweeten it with honey, and that could be my company. Now the Austin, Texas native is the CEO of Me and the Bees Lemonade, a business she started with one single lemonade stand. I started selling it twice a year and I kept on doing that for a little while until someone from a pizza shop was like, hey, if you can bottle your lemonade and put a label on it, we'll carry it in our store. When was the last time you tried something so good and refreshing and wondered, could this be good for me? Yeah. 
By 2015, she secured a $60,000 investment from Shark Tank's Damon John, helping her business take flight. Want to try some? But for Michaela, it's more than just lemonade. It's about bringing buzz to an important topic. Bees pollinate one out of every three bites of the food we eat. They contribute over $16 billion to our agricultural economy a year. And so a lot of people don't realize how important that they were and that they're dying. According to a recent study, more than half of the bees in North America are declining due to loss of habitat and pesticide use. I am afraid that the bees will die. Her message is simple. Buy a bottle, save a bee. She partners with local beekeepers and even donates a portion of her profits to help sustain hives. Today, Me and the Bees Lemonade is available in more than 350 Whole Foods and Wegmans stores across the country. I realized that this could be a company that was national, that I could actually like empower people to help save bees. The lesson Michaela shares is that when life stings you, make lemonade. Don't be discouraged by life's little stings. Get back up and spread your wings. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Happy Sabbath. What an amazing program, boys and girls. Thank you once again for tuning in and for participating. Before we end the program, I have a few short announcements. The first one is we want to showcase your talent on our Kids Got Talent. So what we need you to do is send in any video recording of you showing your talent. What's my talent? Well, if you're good at gymnastics, sports, singing, dancing, if you're good at spending time with the Lord and you want to share your prayers with us, writing journal, writing your journal, if you're a good poet, or you have entries that you want to share that you think or believe are good or are interesting, um, pictures of crafts, uh, if you think you're a good a person that drawers um, and make good images, uh, any of those things, we want to see them, we want to share them here with Kids Got Talent. We are excited about uh, going to West End's YouTube channel because parents are going to be able to watch our program anytime they want. We want to make sure that if you choose to be a part of the program and submit entries, that you and your parents are aware that you are going to be consenting to have your pictures displayed on YouTube. All right. If you choose not to, then make sure that if you're sending an entry in, it's a picture of the entry. So not a picture of you, but a picture of what you consider to be your talent. So for instance, if it's a poem, send the picture uh, of the poem and not you saying the poem. If you send in pictures or videos of yourself, we want to make sure that you and your parents expect that they are going to be shared on YouTube, okay? Also, we want to remind you all that God loves a cheerful giver. Please remember that when you are returning your tithes and off offering, give to children's ministry. In doing so, you are going to assist us in continuing the work of spreading the gospel to our children. All right, lastly, parents, uh, you can email those videos and entries and understand that it's also arts and crafts, pictures, not just the We Kid Talent, uh, but all the things that we're going to be sharing with you and you're going to be sharing with us can be sent to us through our We Children's, with an S, ministry at gmail.com. Again, that's we children's with an S ministry at gmail.com. If you have any questions, you can submit those questions to that same email address, or you can reach out to Miss Sandra. All right. Thank you once again, and God bless you. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. May you have a blessed rest of your day. In Jesus' name, amen.